Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the first things that you should do after setting up your uh, Samsung Galaxy S11, Tab S11 Ultra. Now let's get to the settings first because we need to make sure that we are connected to internet so go to connections and Wi-Fi and if you're currently connected that's great if you're not then you should connect because it'll be needed for many further steps now the next thing is checking for updates this is very important to check for software updates on your tablet and if there are any just install them so in the settings scroll all the way down until you find software update then click on download and install it will start checking for available updates if there are any it is very worth installing them because it makes your system run smoothly securely and also gives you the newest features you can see in my case it's up to date so i don't need to do anything and we can move on to the next step and the next step is gonna be um, also making sure that we are signed into Google account because it will be needed in a moment. So go to accounts and backup in settings, then manage accounts. If you don't have any Google account listed here, then click on add account and then Google and you can log in or create an account there. I already have an account though, so I can continue to the next step, which is gonna be going to Google Play Store to quickly set it up and also update our apps because updating your apps is important for the very same reason as updating your tablet. Now there are some apps that you can install, I'm gonna skip it, then I'm gonna click on no thanks here, okay. And now we are in the app, what you should do is go to your profile icon in top right corner and then manage apps and device and then go to apps. And now it's restoring something, but um, first of all, I want to go to updates and click on update all. So all the update, all the apps are up to date and they are per perfectly working. So that is worth doing, I think. And now we can move on to the next thing. And the next thing is going to set be setting up our screen lock. And um, to do it, go to settings and then go to um, security and privacy, of course, and then screen lock and biometrics. I'm going to enter my screen lock because I already have it. But if you want to set it up, then if you don't have it set up, you'll probably have it set to swipe or none. So if I set it to swipe, now you can see I just have that. And I can simply uh, switch it to pattern, pin or password, but remember that if you forget your pattern, pin or password, um, there will be no way to restore it other than simply erasing everything on your tablet. Uh, so make sure that you'll remember your pattern, pin or password. Um, I will set a pattern and I'll set it to something like that, then click on continue and redraw it to confirm. And now we have it and then it asks you what you want to do on your lock screen so I'll uh, with your notifications I'm gonna set it to icons so um, that's how they're gonna they're gonna be displayed on the lock screen okay now also in screen lock and biometrics we can go there again because we can set up our face recognition and fingerprints and I'm gonna set up a fingerprint because I don't really find face recognition very secure when there's just, you know, it's based on the camera so it can be locked with a photo of you or by someone who looks similar to you. But fingerprints are, um, are pretty, pretty secure. So we can click on register and now press um, this place right here on your uh, fingerprint sensor, which is built under the screen. And now I'm going to tap on it several times. It is a light sensor, so in most cases it should work even with a screen protector. There is a chance it might not work with some certain screen protectors, so get ready for it. But in most cases it should be perfectly working. So let's just set it up just like that. Right, let's click on done. And now we're going to go to the 
um, lock screen to unlock our device so we can first unlock by swiping up and then drawing our unlock pattern or entering pin or password now the other method is with fingerprint and as you can see it unlocks it as well I can even do it I think on the screen being closed so yeah if the screen is completely off then you can also do it and now we should get to the next part which is wallpaper and style and now we're gonna customize our device so you can do a few things here that will make your um, device a bit more personal let's start off with tapping on the lock screen right here and then you can see this is how it is here on default I believe on default it doesn't look to default but maybe it is default maybe it was recovered from my other account because I, I just reset the device but yeah it might may, may have been recovered from a, from an account or it's just it's just here so um you can see we have some widgets we're gonna edit that later first let's talk about clock so clock um can be in different um different fonts these fonts can also have their thickness adjusted and their color right so that's really great we can also change the style of the clock to be vertical horizontal Mm, or like this small one a little bit bigger one you can select whether you want to show the date above or below the clock and you can also add weather information um, to the thing that you're displaying either above or below the clock uh, you can also display a calendar and now uh, what's funny is that you can resize it so you can have it bigger or smaller depending on your preference you can move it around actually so um, you can place it wherever you want honestly and you can for example have that sort of clock now there are these widgets and yeah they can be removed and they can be added so I'm gonna remove all of them to start off clean and let's start adding like uh, some uh, some different things you can add um, I can see different widgets from different apps I think I'll add something simple like let's say the weather and in the weather we can get like the I think the, the current temp and weather would be fine and also maybe the moon phase uh, I think you can rearrange them, yes. You can actually place it... No, you can't actually place it anywhere. Okay. <laughs> mm, but as you can see, there are some different different options here. So I'll also add my screen time, maybe. And I'll place it here. Okay. Now, also, if you'd like, you can uh, rotate widget display up to here or to here. It's up to you. And you can edit these shortcuts in bottom left and bottom right corner. So by clicking on them, you can just change them to something else instead of the one that's default. So instead of the Google Chrome, I can, for example, set a calculator. And on the right side, I can set my, uh, for example, good notes right uh, and now uh, the last thing which you could have done at the beginning is wallpaper you can change it of course here here are some featured ones from Samsung some other ones from Samsung or if you have any photos in your gallery you can select it right here so um, I'm gonna uh, change uh, the wallpaper to this one I think and then um, I'm gonna try to rearrange these so it matches a bit more let's click on done and now it's edited and you can also do like wallpaper on your uh, home screen so that's also pretty great now also by pressing and holding on your home screen you can go to settings of the home screen and change the app size and also change the home screen and apps screen grid so if you want to fit more apps then select 10 by 6 and if you want to fit less apps select 6 by 8x6 
Okay, now let's move on to something else. So if we if we finish that, of course you can just change it like that, right? Uh, if you want to go to something else, then it's gonna be um, making sure that in settings, in display, all our settings are adjusted to our preference. So you can set it to set your display to light or dark. I will set it to light because it looks better on camera, but dark uh, saves power and also it's a bit more comfortable for your eyes, especially at night. But if you don't like it visually, but still want to use it, you can, for example, go to dark mode settings and turn it on as scheduled. So for example, it'll automatically turn on um, at a certain hour, so you don't have it all day, but in the night, you have it. Uh, now uh, there is also something called um, motion smoothness and you can set it to adaptive or standard. Adaptive make, may make your device look smoother because when you're for example scrolling or stuff like that you can even see uh, here on animations mm, it's gonna look smoother because that's how it's made to be. Um, but it uses a bit more power, so if if you don't really know, I would recommend you to test out the adaptive one for like a week or two and then test out the standard one for a week or two and see if you feel any different. If you don't, then and if you just don't care, you can set it to standard, um, it'll save up your battery, but if you did notice some difference then you just need to um, decide whether you care and if you do then set it to adaptive now um, there's also gonna be our font size and style so you can change your font size to make elements on the screen look bigger if you if you um, need to see them a bit better um, and also you can change the default the font style you can even download different fonts and you can enable bold fonts so uh, that elements are gonna be even more visible mm, then also screen zoom you can set the screen zoom to make all the elements not only the text but all the elements smaller or bigger depending on your preference um, i will set them to the default one and um, then I think it's gonna be basically basically it um, for this video the last thing is navigation bar you can set it to buttons which are gonna be these three buttons the standard ones uh, the one is for recents uh, the other one is for home button right and the last one is gonna be for back button and now if I set it to swipe gestures and swipe sliding up is the home button. Um, sliding up and holding is the recent and sliding from the side towards the center, doesn't matter whether from the right side or from the left side, it's a back button. So uh, these will be basically all. I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.